Hello traders, FH Pepcoletti here. Today is Monday, June 3rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting out in the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the photo down analysis. So on the US dollar CAD, I still think this is very likely to go down. I did spend some time on it this weekend, and I still think this is a wave A, and I still think that we're in a wave B. But now looking at it again, I think this is likely a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of A. I think this is actually probably an A, B, C of B, and eventually it probably is going to go back up for a wave C of the bigger wave B before we actually go down and make that bigger wave C. So heading down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly time frame, I still personally think that this move down over here is a trend, which I think is very clearly a trend. I still think this is a wave A, possibly a wave 1, but probably more likely a wave A. I still think this is the end of a question here, wave B, possibly 2. And I still think this is likely to go down for a wave C, probably at least to the 100 or 123.6 to make a wave C of wave B before it goes up and makes that bigger wave C of wave B, like I was showing on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the daily time frame, on the daily time frame I was thinking that the ABC was still already over so I had to see what this turns out because I was thinking that this was an A and this was already at one up three down and then one up for an ABC of two and that this was going to just potentially just keep on making lower lows lower highs for a wave three of wave C. So, keeping that in mind, let's take it down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, we definitely got almost a perfect 5 waves down as you can see. So, I have my Fibonacci retracement out here. Definitely very impulsive move to the upside so far, but I still think that we need to keep an eye on our Fibonacci retracement levels. If we do see 3 waves up with a big Fibonacci bounce, I definitely think we need to go short again for the continuation of the downtrend. So, taking it down to the 1 hour time frame. On the 1 hour time frame, I personally think this is very clearly one, two, three, four, five ways up with a break of structure. I would always label something like this as an A or a one just to keep my options open. At some point, probably today, we will get a pullback, probably a wave B or a wave two. Then if it goes up to a Fibonacci level, Break struts it to the downside at a fib level, then we'll know it's a wave C and we'll definitely go sort again for the continuation of the downtrend. If it's not a wave C, then it will still probably bounce off fib levels, but instead of breaking struts, it will just continue to make higher highs, higher lows, and it will prove that it's a wave 3. So if that's the case, then you should probably try to go long at the end of this wave B or 2, and then you can learn and earn at the same time whether it does this for a wave C, and continues the downtrend, or whether it continues to make higher highs, higher lows in a wave 3. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you would like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live trading sessions. As always, thank you and happy trading.